<clears throat> question. Is it... Can you hear my chickens? Okay, question. Is it ever okay to hijack a slave ship? Um, what I mean by slave ship is basically a hive mind or a particular programming where a bunch of people are on board. So this can be like in a community. It can be in a larger sense. Um, it can be like a country. Ideology of the way that people are thinking and living, their belief systems, and it puts you on a particular dimension, on a particular plane of existence that basically melts you into a pot with the others that are aligned with that specific frequency, that, that level of consciousness. So that's what I mean by a ship. And a slave ship would obviously be an ideology that puts you uh, at odds with liberation. So you're basically serving a function that is more valuable than your well-being. And that's what I would call like a slave ship. Now, is it ever okay to hijack one of these? And by hijacking, I mean going into that space and making a shift, creating a way for people to get themselves free and to liberate their minds and their souls. Um, is it ever okay? Yes, that's what we're doing now. A lot of us are stationed here in Earth to do this. So um, this is my mission on YouTube, <laughs> in a nutshell, basically. And this is what we are geared up to do. The reason why I feel spirit has really put us in this position is because I would say like if it were in a military sense, what we have right now are civilians that are in harm's way and us as commanders or people that are soldiers for God, we're here to, we're here to step in and intervene for, you know, the preservation of life. So that's what we do when we're really in line with our true missions here. We, we show up in a way that will create a shift or a change for people who want to, you know, use their free will for people who choose to have a different belief system. We're, we're stepping in as, you know, someone who's contributing a different way of being, a different way of believing. We're just that example. And I've seen over my travels, I've seen we just have to show up. You who are watching, you're watching this video, you are that powerful. You go into a room full of people and you're going to shift that entire place your, your presence is enough. And so us being able to show up and be in our hearts and choosing to align and identify with the right types of thought streams and thought forms, that's how you, you know, basically hijack a slave ship. You're showing yourself as an example of a way of liberating oneself, one's mind, one's soul and it basically inspires or shifts everything around you you become like this magnetic auric field that is so powerful that whatever comes in contact with it it's going to change there's going to be a quickening in that other person's electromagnetic field that's what we're here for we're here to make a change by being an example of the highest frequency and so yes go into those places where you know it's your mission to be. Maybe it's not comfortable, but you're there to be a different point of reference for spirit.